Calling the title of this film a sounding amp might be an odd thing to say. This Hegel is all about sound quality though. It's an integrated amp which can also stream, but it doesn't use a Hegel app for streaming services and local network streaming. You could buy something like a name Unity Nova, similar ballpark price, which has less power, isn't so regarded with damping factor, but uses more expensive materials and an internal music interface app as well. I tried one in a shop with my speakers, but it doesn't get close to what this H390 can do on sound quality. Nor too did my Cyrus Pre and Power signature gear costing £7,500 and indeed names £5,000-ish NAC202 preamp and their NAP200DR power amp I've tried, which comparatively I found bland, lacking detail and dynamism, and just didn't have the same control of this £4,900 Hegel. So this amp appeals to people who want a sounding amp as opposed to what I'm going to call a pretty boy amp like the Nova, which maybe has more streaming features built in, but with a much lesser amplifier. So too with the name pre and power combo. Personally, as an audiophile, I definitely know what option that I would choose. Since streamers don't cost much for great performance, if you want a more involved app control setup, you could also add something like a Blue Sound Node 2i, which uses Blue OS, and I use that, and it provides stellar performance and a great app for not much extra cash. Hegel has the H390 in the Rune Ready pipeline, I should say, by a firmware upgradable piece of software. Anyone who says we spend all this money not for sound quality to be top trumps of decision making is for my money being disingenuous because it's probably about 90% of being an audiophile. Guiling then to spend all that money on those names or Cyrus gear and not get equitable sound quality. Also, why spend money on a solid aluminium case that degrades the investment into the sound quality that you can achieve at this type of price? It ties into the ethos and design criteria for Hegel of assembly in Norway and manufacturing elsewhere. So this Hegel is utilitarian and minimalist looking and Hegel make no bones about that, mentioning it's designed to fit in with any interior. This is kind of Scandinavian design after all, their ethos, like IKEA, which I'm in with and when you consider you need pay for good design but not over the top design in hi-fi that again eats into how an amp can sound, these amps from Hegel are basically an audiophile's delight. sonic trait of deafness with mid-range transparency and openness here. I'd say that this is its main standout character 
but going with that you have detail in masses dynamics to die for masses of power and control and it's really not hard to envisage the high damping factor and sound engine technology is doing its stuff here it doesn't have that padding fatness in tone when music doesn't require it that we get so used to in some types of amplifiers and you feel this Hegel is just doing its stuff to remove that distortion here. The H390 has more textural detail and transparency than a £4,000-ish Bryston BP17 Cube preamp that I tried with £4,000 worth of Cyrus Mono Class AB X200 signature power amps, whilst the Bryston was more timberly revealing. Playing devil's advocate, the H390 does have such outright openness and detail in its presentation that it might not be a preference for Class A Hi-Fi Smoothies or speakers that are excessively bright. But then this detail is of a balanced tonal nature as far as I'm concerned, which is typical of Hi-Fi like Hegel nowadays anyway. And I think it it's exactly what gets the best balance of detail and dynamic capability. So it's not harsh in its treble at all, nor is it overly smoothed. And detail, I'd say, is an aim to be achieved and not to be derided. You can use apps like mConnect on Android or Apple devices or Bubble UPnP on Android as your music controller to send music over your network drives to your Hegel or plumb in streaming services to some of these apps like Bubble UPnP. So the app then instructs your streaming services to send music to the H390. Remember too that it's an Apple AirPlay capable device, which is about the same as CD quality. So from other AirPlay devices or AirPlay in Rune, can you send music to your H390? I often advocate keeping the DAC separate for reasons of currency and upgradability with DACs moving so, so fast. But this amp is basically the exception to the rule because the DAC is blisteringly good. It improves in bucket loads over the Hegel H120's DAC. Chord's cutest DAC is a wider, expansive purveyor, more nuanced with micro details to the Hegel's thickness with bass better on the attack, slightly lesser soundstage, but a more centered and concentrated approach to soundstaging, perhaps giving a feeling of being more present with the Hegel DAC. Now I kept going back and forth, but decided one isn't better than the other. It's more of a case of being a preference thing. And I preferred the Hegel when I wanted music with more attack and the chord to relax to with music at a lower volume. I came across, as part of this review, users who agreed with me that the H390's DAC is as good as the chord with similar quality gear to that which I used in this test. provides a means to A and B with an RME ADI2 DAC FS DAC that I use in this test using the Hegel's own clock compared to using the DAC and clock of the Hegel alone because you can turn the setting DAC loop on and off in the menu. It gave a very perceptible improvement in space and sound stage with the RME which I actually slightly preferred going back to the thicker base of the Hegel without DAC loop on. The RME showed yet again with its ability to tweak the tone controls and parametric equalizer what a great DAC it is. 
and in DAC loop configuration, it was the best of the DACs that I had available in this test. For the money, this is an absolutely stunning amplifier, leaving notions that you need to buy separates for better sound quality to old school ideas now, or that you have to be brand loyal to brands like Name to get the best hi-fi. This is really 2020 modern audio. The H390 is extremely recommended. And if you're spending around this price on traditional brands like Name, put this Hagel on your shortlist as you will not regret it. Value for money, even though expensive, one of the best products I've ever reviewed. It's spellbindingly good. So good, in fact, that I decided to buy it. You know, as Murray Walker used to say in his Formula One commentary, fantastic. Hey go.